This is 2019, and this is the best you can do with Chucky. Look here, I'm happy I didn't pay to see this. I happened to find an old gift card that was given to me for um, AMC theaters, but I had to drive like 10 miles to the nearest AMC theater because I'm used to going to the one that's next to me, that's uh, Amstar. So uh, I used the gift card. I said, okay, um, I don't have to pay for this. So, because if I did have to pay for it, you would not have been getting this review. Fuck that. As you know, Child's Play is the retelling of the 1988 cult classic Child's Play of the same name and uh, starring the, the, the iconic Chucky. I was never scared of Chucky as a kid, even as a nine-year-old kid watching Child's Play. Chucky never scared me, but I thought he was a cool character. He had some great one-liners, a lot of uh, a lot of cool kills, and he just he just oozed of charisma. I, I like Chucky, so I did watch that one and all the sequels. Bride of Chucky was probably my favorite Chucky movie overall, even over over the first one, because I could not stop laughing with uh, Bride of Chucky. Uh, this movie here has none of the personality of the other Child's Play movies. I see what they were trying to do. They were trying to, you know, put a new spin on it and make it a little bit more serious. But my issue with this movie is not so much the movie itself. Fuck getting into the plot and all that. You, you guys kind of know the plot. If you've seen the original Child's Play, you know the plot. Okay, if you don't know it, I'll just run it down to you real quick. Andy is a preteen, early teen kid. He's an outcast. He's not really liked. He stays in his phone all the time. He has a hearing aid. He, he's a misfit. He's a loser has no friends, and his mom works uh, endless hours at a, uh, a fake Walmart to try to make ends meet. She's a single mom. No, her son doesn't have any friends, so she gets this new doll for him, this buddy doll that can do pretty much everything. So she figured this would be a good gift for his birthday, gives him the doll, they fall in love, and then that's where the story unfolds. I did not like the look of Chucky. I'm like, he looked like, if you watch that old 87 movie, uh, The Garbage Pail Kids, he looked like one of the Garbage Pail Kids, and that was made in 87 with a shoestring budget, and even for its time, it looked bad. That's what this movie looked like. I don't know who created him, or I don't know how that how that got the okay, like, when they brought this to the executives, like, hey, this is how Chucky's gonna look. I like it. Perfect. Put it in the film. No, kill yourself. Drink bleach. There were some things about this movie that did it better than the original Child's Play as far as the characters. The relationship between Andy and his mom and, and showing Andy's struggle and how he's dealing with, you know, having a having a disability and having a mom that's dating a guy that, that he doesn't like, that he just wants to get rid of. So I was really into these characters and I was kind of, I was following the story. And then Chucky comes and the movie just says, wonk. In all fairness, though, the relationship between Chucky and Andy, I dug also. Like, when Andy unboxed him and everything, and, you know, hey, we're, you know, my best friend. The first act of this movie almost played like E.T. <laughs> they even had the kid Andy dressed up in the red hoodie and shit like Elliot. And even Chucky, when Chucky would do certain things, his finger would light up. So, yeah, there, there's some E.T. elements in this movie. I thought Andy was the villain. Now, Chucky's supposed to be the slasher, the killer. He's the, the one that we're supposed to root against where... Andy has to stop this evil force. It switched for me. I thought Andy was the evil force. I'm, okay, this is spoiler free. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do a spoiler review later. But there were things that happened where you felt for Chucky. Chucky became a sympathetic character. You felt sorry for him. And when you see the things that Andy would do, I'm like, no, Andy got to go. I, I got to the place where I was rooting for Chucky. I wanted Chucky <laughs> to get payback. In, in brutal fashion, and, and for somewhat, I got that. Chucky has no personality in this movie. There is not one time where I felt like Chucky was alive. I didn't feel like he was a character. It, it, just, it just looked like a puppet that they put uh, Mark Hamill's voice behind, and he just did, you know, robotic shit. The Chucky from 88, 31 years ago, was more believable than what we got this time. There's not much more I can say about this movie. Bad writing, bad execution, the performances was not that bad. Actually, the performances was one of the highlights of this movie. And because, like I said, I dug the relationships. But, and, and the kills were pretty cool too. But overall, man, this shit was just whack. It was, it was just whack. You know, I don't know what else I could say. Like typical slasher movies, they do set up for a sequel. I don't care to see a sequel. I don't care to see another Child's Play movie again. They need to stop messing with these old properties and, and tugging at the nostalgia strings because they know people have love for these franchises, the Elm Streets, the Halloweens, the Friday the 13th, 
But look, have you not learned from the other mistakes? Every time they try to redo one of these classics, they fuck it up. But see, because of a, a movie like It, It was a blessing and a curse. It was a blessing because it was such a great film to me. But then it opened a door for more remakes to get made. So they said, ah, so people like It. So let's try to revive some of these other franchises. We can have the same success. Wrong. Wrong. No. 2010's Nightmare on Elm Street. Ugh, throw it in the garbage. 2009's uh, Friday the 13th. It was actually kind of enjoyable, but still it was whack. Rob Zombie's Halloween. Do you see what I'm saying? I was open for a Jaws remake, but now what I'm seeing what they're doing, no. Leave Jaws the way it is. Fake shark and all. It's still a classic. They are taking properties that we love and they're fucking them up. Child's Play is no exception. They need to stop right here. Do not make any more Chucky's. Do not make any more Child's Play. We're done. Yeah, Mark Hamill was the voice of Chucky. I for I forgot he was even the voice of Chucky because Chucky just had no personality. He he just he had nothing to offer. I I, I hated Chucky in this movie. It's crazy. I hated Chucky in this movie, but at the same time, I really felt sorry for him at the same time. Maybe something's wrong with me. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say I hated Chucky. I just hated Chucky's look. I just hated the way the way they they did him. I mean, even when he when he spoke when he talked, his mouth was so out of sync with the words. You can tell it was a puppet you know, talking, and it just, it, it really didn't, even though it's, it's a practical effect, uh, it felt CG, because it felt like there was nothing there, it was hollow, it had no life, this shit was whack, it was weak, I don't care to see it again, save your money on this shit, I'ma give Child's Play, 2019 Child's Play, a D, straight up, had some things that I did like about it, in the beginning, it was starting to go somewhere, I was, I was getting invested, and then he opened that box up, and we got the buddy doll, and it was downhill after that, man. So, y'all, that's my grade, man. D for Child's Play. What did you guys think, man? Comment freely below. Thank you, as always, for watching. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video. Just stop fucking with the classics. Stop fucking with the classics. Grid, day in the morning.